talking about getting your house cleaned up, picked up, decluttered when you're a hoarder. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are talking about how to clean your house when you are a hoarder. Mm. We have a lot of experience with this. I come from my dad's side of the family who's actually, I love you guys <laughs> if you're watching, but my dad's side of the family is... A lot of hoarders and there's a lot of hoarders on my dad's side of the family so I fight hoarding tendencies my mom's side are organized hoarders <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing guys you have to do what works for you mm -hmm. and we got a comment from Martine on our website in Germany thank you for commenting and bringing this up and he said that he's really had this problem with hoarding and trying to keep his house cleaned up. And he took this course, he didn't say what it was, but he took this course and it said, start with the least emotional items first. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't go that direction. I guess I have automatically just done that and I didn't even realize when he said that. So when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I go look at the boys' bedroom and it's a pit, Every single time I start with the clothes, hmm. I know what clothes they have outgrown or I can pick through and see which ones they've outgrown. I can get rid of those first. I can get all the laundry sorted, dirty and clean, and they can get them hung up and resorted. I know exactly what needs to be done with the boys' clothes every single time. The refrigerator. I was going to say in the bedroom, before we start in the refrigerator, obvious things like wrap, empty wrappers, trash, trash like that, empty mm -hmm. paper cups. Yep. So do the trash, too. That's another mm -hmm. you know, yeah. one that would be easy. Yeah, to so go through your house, and if you want, just get rid of all the trash. It amazes me when you see these hoarding shows or whatever. It's just flat-out trash that people have. You don't need those McDonald's wrappers anymore. Yeah. You don't need 350 straws anymore. You need maybe five or 10 straws, depending on how many people are in your family. But just the trash. If you just get trash. The obvious on, trash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're not talking about trying to decide if it's trash or not. We're just talking about the empty pop cans and the empty pizza boxes and all that. Then do things like your refrigerator. Mm-hmm. It's a no-brainer to go in and see that that expired salad dressing two years ago should not be in your refrigerator. Yeah. That's dangerous. You're not saving money by giving yourself food poisoning and having to go to the emergency room. Something that won't cause you to be emotional over it, yeah. where you have to think about it and feel about it. Mm -hmm. Start in those spots where they don't cause a lot of emotion in you. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. And the next thing he said was do I like items together. So instead of clearing the tabletop or clearing the counters, he said, gather all your food and find one place that you, or two, depending on how I know some people's houses is smaller, but find, find a place or two where you can put all that food, sort through, once again, all the expired things, the things that aren't good, the things you didn't like, and just throw that away. And then you can find a place and get it reorganized neatly. Put like things together, you know. All the macaronis all go together. All the tomato soup goes together. All the fruit cans go together. Now, I don't line my fruit up all peaches, all pears, all fruit cocktail. I line it up, a peach, a pear, a fruit cocktail. I know I'm not that specific. I just kind of shove them in there and mix them up because usually people don't want to eat peaches every day of the year and I don't have enough space for each individual thing. So I just mix them up in there, but yeah. all my fruit is together. Mm -hmm. Okay, put all your rice together. And then you can see at a glance what you have and what you need to use. And do this with other things like makeup, you know. Yeah. Put all your mm -hmm. lipsticks together, your polishes, and you can look and you think, this polish is all dried up and dead. Toss it out. You yeah. know, I hate this color of lipstick on me. Toss it out and get rid mm -hmm. of it. 
those things aren't you don't have attachment to like you do grandma so and so favorite dress mm -hmm. you know or yeah. mom's you know mom's something mm -hmm. she always wore and those aren't memory you know don't start with the memory stuff start with those mm -hmm. and keep all the makeup in i hope one drawer but a lot of people have chester drawers full of makeup but get this narrowed down and at mm -hmm. least get rid of the old stuff and put the like stuff together and make it handy mm -hmm. and convenient you know another thing about putting like stuff together that i find hoarders do I've gone to people's homes, and in their kitchen cabinets, with their plates and their mm -hmm. cups, they have had Builds pictures and, and mm -hmm. bills and little magazines, screws and nuts and bolts, you know, just tuck camera, <laughs> all kinds of things. That doesn't go in your kitchen cabinet. That uh, that goes along with put like things together. You get all that stuff out of there, mm -hmm. and you just have your dishes. Yeah. in the kitchen cabinet only thing. have things you use in the kitchen in the kitchen, kitchen. Mm -hmm. i mean have one little junk drawer i have one little junk drawer in the kitchen but it's stuff that i always use in the kitchen like razor blades and a little screwdriver that kind of thing that i always use in or around the kitchen so stop getting overwhelmed and start with the easy mm -hmm. and if the easy means for you just clearing off your nightstand cleaning yeah clear off your nightstand that way when you go to bed you have a nice fresh area you can see before you go to bed when you wake up you have another chance to see that nice fresh area again and then that inspires you to clean the next mm -hmm. area or even do something small like sit and just so organize your purse yep just start, if you have to start real little, start small, mm -hmm. but at least you're started. And you'll find once you get started, like mm -hmm. Tara says, you'll feel so good seeing that area, you want to, want to do yeah. the next thing. Just getting the trash out of your purse will probably oh, yeah. take 50% yeah. of the chaos away from your purse. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, just, I don't know how so much trash ends up in my purse, but, it, well, yeah, you're traveling around and you just throw it in there instead of throwing it on the ground, but, you know. And I know hoard, real true hoarding sometimes is a very emotional problem. Yes. And sometimes you may have to get therapy for it. And medication, yeah. Yeah. And so and that's okay. Yeah. If you do what you do, what you have to do, you know, to take yeah. care of it. And just start. That's the whole secret is just mm -hmm. start. Yeah. All right, guys, please visit us at livingonadime.com. Our 2021 planner set is on sale now. We have all our cleaning and organizing tips in our planner set. It is 70% off for $20.21 at livingonadime.com. We will see you guys next time.